Look at that. Oh, oh dude, that oh. looks so sick. So sick. Seaweed flames. Matt just got a call from Champion. We're gonna go pick up the Lowrider ST. Oh look, got a couple of stickers, bro. These are the installation instructions. We don't need those. <laughs> For those like who don't understand painting, because I don't. I'm an idiot. I don't know, but then I saw the picture. I was like, this is so well, sick. Just Pat's bike is gonna look completely different. Get some burgers, man. Just going to Rudy's. What's going on? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. A little backstory, me and Matt own a company called Indestructible. It's a clothing brand, but we're using YouTube to kind of show our hobbies, which is mostly motorcycles. Yeah, pretty much in our spare time, it's motorcycles and, I mean, tattoos as well. I'm a tattooer. Dan obviously really likes tattoos. Uh, but yeah, we, we use YouTube just to show off, you know, our interests as well, not just uh, our clothing company. But yeah, thanks everybody who did watch our last vlog. We're pretty stoked on that. So we're gonna do a follow-up to the El Diablo, probably vlog at the vlog after this one. We're gonna check out my helmet. Sean's here, he just got the helmet ready, so we're gonna look at it for the first time. You know? Sick. Woo! That should be get the get that visor on there, Matt. That's, oh yeah, shit, that's, I get the visor. It's gotta get on. I have sure. it here. I can't I wait to see it. I have it here, it. I'll put it on. The last like kind of idea of you putting the, the black line and the, then the deeper red line around it looks so good. I played with a few things and when I when I put that on there I said to myself I'm like it, it needs it. I didn't want to put a brighter red. I wanted the pinstriped red to be a little bit more docile. Right. So let's get that visor on. The gold yeah, visor. Let's put it beside the okay. bike and get the visor oh, on. Bike, sure. My bike's not here right oh, now. Aw <laughs> jeez, what'd you do? Yeah. Bike's back in the shop. It's <laughs> getting uh doing some more camping to do it. The problem with these I find is when it's a like a mirrored shield or a darker shield, it's harder to kind of find where it clicks in. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Oh, that orange makes so much more sense now. Oh, that looks good. It looks so sick, dude. I left the dot on here for me and the snow on here so we don't get pulled over when we're uh, pulled over less. We'll get pulled over less, yeah, when we're in the in the states. Well, when we're crossing the border or whatever. Yeah, I just heard so guys good. were telling me that they get their balls busted every time they go across the border with the DOT stickers. Yeah. It I ruins know. the look, but at the same time, if you guys can avoid more than... <laughs> it ruins it, but it kind of doesn't at the same time. There's, it's, it's, it's totally it's fine. It. It's not. <laughs> All right, so this is my Simpson Ghost Bandit helmet that I just had painted by our boy Sean over here. What is your uh, Instagram handle? Just at Iron Fist Customs. Throw it on. Okay. Custom. I'm gonna look at myself in here. <laughs> I don't need to tie it up. Oh, this thing's sick, man. Oh, dude, that looks so sick. So sick. My man, <laughs> this is so <laughs> sick. Pretty cool, pretty so cool. Sick, Since we have Sean here, let's talk about the paint you did on my bike. So we're gonna talk about my bike. We haven't really talked about it on the channel. It's mostly being the El Diablo Lowrider S. It's back in the shop right now. More about that in the next vlog, but we have Sean who painted my bike in the off season. I asked for some flames. I basically let him do what he wanted to do. I'm super stoked with it, but I don't even, like, I don't understand how it works. You just like paint them on or like, how does it, how does it work? For those like who don't understand painting, because I don't, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so basically it's just layers in time. Like it started black and uh, I basically just took that original black. I put over, um, a house of color candy carrier with uh, paint hopper metal flake sprayed it over top to get the sort of galaxy metallic -y depth look i didn't want to go too with too much metal flake because i wanted it to still be a black motorcycle right but i thought it had this really cool look to it clear coated over top of it sanded it all down laid down all again the paint hopper um, metal flake masked out all my flames Threw on some nice house of color uh, candies, which I mixed sort of myself between two or three different colors, and came up with this just to get that little bit of bounce and that depth, which I think, I think really makes everything come out, even with the chrome and everything, right? Like it's like starting to look pretty cool. Then I ended up putting uh, putting another couple coats of clear on it, sanding it again, pinstriping it. Originally, I wanted to do like a tan color. <laughs> didn't really go that well, so. It is funny, like I remember you texting me like, so what do you think of purple? I was like, I was, I was like, uh, 
I, I, I like purple as a color, but I was like, I'm gonna like, I don't know, that's kind of like, but then, well, to me, I just started thinking to myself, I'm like, I had this image in my head, and when I laid it on, I was like, it's just, it's just, I'm not feeling it, I wasn't yeah, yeah. feeling it, right, so, I messed around with some purples and some blues, and as soon as I saw the purple on it, I said, this is it, man, Dude. I was really... I was when really I, hoping you were going to go Because in my head, you were like purple. And, and I was like, in my head, I didn't, I was like, oh, I don't know. But then I saw the picture. I was like, this is so well, sick. It just brought everything yeah, out. And like, it's crazy, death, right? Like, I don't know if you want to like touch on like in certain lights. We walked around the bike when he, when he brought it to me the first day. And like the purple like disappears. For sure. With, like, it just, and, like, that's, and I think that's just the way the, the candies and the purple sort of bounce and vibrate off of one another. But on like in the dark certain angles, it, it's, it's more purple than red. And then when you flip over, it just goes red and the purple pinstripe completely disappears. It's really cool the effect that uh, that they took together. It's really stoked with that. Yeah, it's, it's really, really stoked, stoked with and that. And then of course we did the Simpson modular helmet. Of course, gotta have a modular. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to match, obviously do a matching. And I think it, the only difference so we did sick. here is basically same process, except we didn't do the, uh, the little bit of metal flake within uh, just over the black. And uh, I think it, I think it suits yeah. it and then I wanted though. to grab a, a mirrored visor just to kind of match. You know, I had a lot of chrome on my bike, so I wanted to sure. kind of do, make the helmet and bike match as best as possible. And I think that really, like, it all ties in together. Yeah, I think the flow just worked out really well. The and way the flames like, all come down together and just looking, look, looking pretty sick. Looking you're gonna sick. be a, you're gonna be a very busy man now. Let's like, hope so. Me hey, and Pat, we're at like Let's a so. Steel Town Garage. It's like a, a coffee shop, motorcycle hangout. Everyone's stopping like, who did you paint? Who did you paint? It's like, get up my boy Sean. Great, man. It like... feels, feels so good getting back into it. It took a little bit of a hiatus there for some time. Carpal tunnel was killing me. So, but I'm back and just want everybody to see it. And you're going to get be, these things back out there. You're going to be hanging with us at Born Free? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm down there for sure. This so, year. Yeah. both my bike and Matt's bike are going to be at Born Free in our tent. So, come check them out. See them in the sun. We're gonna be riding around California a bunch and we're super stoked and Sean's gonna be there so you can ask him all the questions you have about paint. Same way. You kind of talked to me about this stuff before too when you're talking about your process and that you don't use, I don't know if I'm gonna use the right term, but you don't really use stencils or you, like this is right. technically a symmetrical pattern. A lot of the bike, it's all symmetrical on both sides but you're doing it by eye. Yeah. You I, didn't create I, a stencil and then put it on I one side. I pride myself in, in trying to balance things out just by looking at them, I, I find it faster. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's more real. You know, like it, you have to have no two flames are alike, right? If you, if you, I always, I always joke around with people and tell them like, you want to see, you want to see two flames that look alike. Bring your bike over the shop, we'll light it on fire, and you can point out the flames that look identical. But, uh, but yeah, we're not going to do that. But the thing is, yeah, I, I pride myself in just making sure that I'm very close on everything. And when, when you do look at this and. I believe the symmetry is done pretty well. You are gonna see <clears throat> some imperfections here and there, but I think see, that's kind of what makes that's it. Like, see, but that's to me isn't, it, to me I don't look at it as imperfection. You're breathe, breathing a different type of life into the bike. Right. You know, it it's creates a different kind of movement with it. And the fact that you can look at this thing and know this was done by, the way you put it by eye, it was well, all that's done. that's it. Yeah. Which is, it's, 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 it's own version of artistry it's or craft or yeah, whatever whatever the was, right term whatever you want to call it it was, it was it's, something it's like i never i never viewed this stuff as artwork <laughs> you know i mean i never considered myself an artist i was never trained i was in i've been in the trade since as long as i can remember and it's one of those things when guys ask hey can you do this i said yeah yeah i can do that even though i hadn't done it but but it all sort of it all came and it fell into play and it was all to me it was all automotive it wasn't uh there was no artistic value for me. It was more so I was just trying to get paid and it worked <laughs> out and it worked out. So Yeah, I mean, it's something pretty cool has come out of it, you know? And I do really like that these are very like classic looking flames on a very modern bike. Yeah. I love the you know, style it's, of the It's different than what you see today. Flame, yeah, it's you know, very but you know, but with these, we, we took it a little bit farther and towards what I don't like the term, but a lot of guys are calling them seaweed flames, but you know, with that sort of having yeah, the yeah, lick come yeah. out. Like skinny, out. long. Flames. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. But, I mean, I sort of combined <clears throat> combined the two forms. I mean, there's so many different styles of claims you can do, right? Yeah. The other thing, too, as well, which you don't really see so much now, but there's a nice little, there's a drop shadow 
all underneath oh, yeah, those like certain, certain lights. Yeah, yeah when you get it in the sun, like, you should be able to see it a yeah, little I remember, more. But you mentioned that like I had to like look for it. But yeah, it but it's like, like it's subtle. super subtle. It's I didn't want it to take away from anything else, but I think it kind of gives it that depth with a little bit of metal flake in there as well. That was pretty sweet yeah. with the way that turned out. Man. Yeah, like I mean, I like modern things, but then like I like how this is like it's a classic looking custom bike for yeah, sure, for which sure. I really like. Like I. Yeah, I guess like modern is cool. I like ripping. I like when I know when like I turn it on, it's gonna go. But I also like a classic looking motorcycle. That's you, why I like. You stuck don't the see chrome. a lot of the these newer bikes draw. with that older style. Like yeah. you're saying again, yeah, right? yeah. Like this is a classic set. paint set. Oh, yeah. Classic paint job. You know, best and S teardrop is super classic. But then I have some like performance bigger like touches. But it's still very classic looking, which is that's why I went. Chrome originally, for sure. Yeah, sure. man. I'm just gotta get on the road. I know. So I, gotta, that, right? I gotta get my helmet next to my bike, man. Feeling, feeling I just keep summer. A, I just keep looking at my helmet. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. <laughs> this is sick. I'm not. It's dope, but I keep looking at that. <laughs> no, I'm so stoked with the way these these projects turned out. I'm looking forward to a lot more. The, col the colors that I want to do were like tonal blue with yeah. with white and silver. Oh, right on. Because I got so much chrome on it, it was originally white. So you can but blue is my favorite color with the white pearl too. Yeah, like yeah. The white pearl, silver, yeah. blue. That'd be sick. Yeah, but just with like paneling, like I don't know if you like, like get into this on camera or whatever. But like, if you do like People fish scales and stuff oh, like yeah. that, and like, oh, yeah. or, like we'll the do fades, it all, man, for sure. Just a lowrider. Just a low rider. Just make it look like a lowrider. Pat's bike is gonna look completely different. No, you can't get out of it now. It's That's on. It. It's on video. You can't get out of it. Where are you going, Pat? What are you gonna get? Get some burgers, man. Just going to Rudy. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Oops, you guys. <laughs> Like I said, we haven't really talked about my bike on the channel as much. We're gonna do a bike check eventually. This bike started as a road glide special. I bought it, I wanted to kind of do like a pretty classic looking bike. I started with like, I think it was factory 50, factory 47. Had those like meat hook apes on there. That lasted half a season, they were a little wide. Started like, seeing the performance beggars and, and kind of wanted to go that way. Engine work, this is a stock 114 engine with a fueling cam. I can't remember exactly what cam it is. I think it might be the 475, I want to say, or is it the 465? I went with the thrashing uh, gauges, risers, and bars. As soon as they came out with like the top tree, I had to get that. It just looks so clean. Um, did that last year after, after I think I went to went to thrashing in California, picked it all up there. So I just threw on the Trask salt pipe i think it's called two into one love that you got to have that for performance bagger did the sns mini teardrop pretty early on thrashing four bores thrashing adjustable brake arm thrashing passenger pegs a lot of thrashing thrashing stuff is in my opinion make really really good stuff baja design lp6s with an amber light we did the uh this is a arlen ness fender and then of course i had to get that painted Clockworks windshield. So Dan said this bike started as a, a road glide special, right? But he's completely changed it in that sense. He changed the bags out too. Yeah, I had to go with like the chop bags. One, it looks goofy if you have a two into one with stretch bags. So I switched those out, got them painted. Did the Olin's uh, suspension, did that this season. I had Legends on the back here, but I had 12 inches. Because at the time I was like, oh, I'm I'm short. I need more, you know. I need to be able to touch, put, plant my feet. But realizing that's not as important. I'd rather how 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 tall are you? How tall are you? I'm like five, I'm like five nine. Five nine, and then so, I mean, what, this is still what, five, what size do you have on those? These are thirteens. Thirteens, and it fits you fine. Like it's not. When I'm riding with you, your feet are planted, yeah. when we're, or when we're stopped at a light. And then we have the uh, I have the Legends cartridges in the front there too. I just got in the mail from Original Garage or a new crash bar, so let's let's throw that on while we're here and then maybe go for a little rip. Hell yeah, well he will, not me right now. My bike's not with me. But also just while we're here, we're we told you that we have a clothing company called Indestructible. So we're in our warehouse right now, and this is actually right here. This is all our sample area. So we new got best maybe coming out. Stay tuned. Alright, let's take a look at this uh, crash bar because this crash bar is bugging me because it's stock. And uh, 
I, I like chrome, but it's like some things are just better black. Like I want, you know, I feel like black kind of like makes it just stuff disappear. You don't need to see the crash bar. So if you kind of like use a black crash bar, it's going to kind of make it a little more hidden in my opinion. So. I also had, I had to match Matt. He's got OG crash bars and this is a Canadian company. So this is the only Canadian piece that's going to be on my bike. The rest is mostly made in America, but we got to re represent Canada a little bit here with the organic, organic garage. <laughs> that's a Canadian grocery store, by the way. <laughs> Original garage make really cool stuff. They were like, oh, they're up dope. And coming. They're dope. They so, make, they make great stuff. They really do. Them and them and thrashing. Like my bike has pretty much OG or thrashing stuff too. Both oh look, got a couple of stickers. Bro. These, are the, these are the installation instructions. We don't need those. <laughs> there you go. All right, so. This is trickier than we thought. We because this is a Roguelite Special, it already has uh, this bracket. We actually have to drill in here to, to like make it wider so the supplied bolts fit, so we're not doing that today. I don't have my drill on me either. I mean, I would be down to drill it, yeah. so it's still definitely doable to get on. We just don't have everything here to do it right now. Because you need to widen the hole, and we'll show you this next time. We need to widen it so you can get the, like Dan said, the supplied bolts in there. Widen that hole. Why did that hold, guys? <laughs> Matt just got a call from Champion. We're gonna go pick up the Lowrider ST, El Diablo. Yep. We're gonna fill you in what happened, what's going on with that. So stay tuned for the next vlog. In the meantime, like and subscribe, follow along. And wait, quickly though, what do we, because we're going, <laughs> because we're going to pick up my bike though, because Dan's got a drill just to get his, his crash bar on, we're thinking we'll just bring this to uh, Champion and they'll just put it on for him, so follow along next vlog you're gonna see the El Diablo again I know you've been loving that so and you'll get to see Matt's new helmet oh match, yeah match with yeah, the yeah. El Diablo yeah like and subscribe bitches yeah the sun keeps coming in and out there's some blue skies this bike started as a this bike started oh, fuck, one second. I'll get it I'll get it so we're gonna talk about my bike on the channel let me say that again Let's so do it again. Right on. So we have <laughs> just got in the mail from, or what is it? Let me say that again, don't worry. <laughs> so this is um, a Simpson. Oh, here it's good. What's it? What's this? Simpson Ghost Bandit? Ghost Bandit. I keep wanting to say. Ghost Bandit or Bandit Ghost? I don't I think know. Ghost Bandit. Ghost. I think it's Ghost Bandit because I want to say Speed Bandit. I'm tatted. Tat Lord.